here with the <laughs> Brooklyn girl, gonna talk a little money. You know, it's so funny, growing yeah. up in Brooklyn, Yeah. I, I don't know anybody, I, I don't remember, my my family certainly didn't talk about how to do it. No, no. You know, no. my friends' family, I never remember them sitting their kids down and saying, right. this is the way to earn. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What the heck? We weren't taught it in school because school taught us uh, we were in industrial age and they're still teaching the same way now on how to build ships, right? And how to be a great employee. But they never talked about taxes and credit and all those type of things. And it became a taboo in my house. You know, I have little Damon, he's red. It reminds me of my mother said, only talk about the bills when they're red because that's about the time they're gonna cut off the utilities oh, or kick gee. us out, right? Uh, but that's why I, I think this is something we have to talk about. Uh, and the book became New York Times bestseller. But more importantly on Amazon, top selling book in the country or maybe even the world for a certain period of time because America has voted we need to teach our kids financial intelligence from five to ten years old so they don't end up going and acquiring five hundred thousand dollars worth of student debt at 18 years old for a career they're not even sure they want. I know and you know it's funny now yeah. I mean these schools they're not taking SATs, no. ACTs and and I hear employers are not even allowed to ask if you graduated college. That, that is true. And, and, but, but the one thing we're always going to do, whether you are running a Fortune 500 company or balancing a checkbook at home, you're always going to have to deal with money, period. Right. Money. Okay, so give me a nice tip. A nice tip about yeah. money? Yeah. Oh, you know what to do for your children? Every single, this is what I do for my godchildren. Uh, every single Christmas and every single birthday, I buy them, let's say my god kid at six years old, he likes Tonka trucks. I buy him a Caterpillar truck, a little play one at $100, right? Yeah. I buy him $100 in Caterpillar stock. I put that stock in a book. I picture, I took a picture of me and him or him and I standing there. And in 10 years, you know what happens? He looks at all the stocks of all the toys that we bought, worth about $6,000. The toys are worth nothing. He starts to realize, wait a minute, this is something I need to do. These right. are little things you can do for children. When did you become so smart? Because, yeah. you know, you started off, I remember we, we talked about this, sure. selling clothes out yeah. of the, the back of your trunk in yeah. Queens, right? I became smart when I realized I almost went bankrupt twice when I was broke and once when I had $10 million in the bank. You almost went broke when you had 10. How did, how did you do that? It's the same way that any, listen, 65% of a lot of winners and athletes are bankrupt three years after leaving the league or winning the lotto. Is that because of the taxes? Like, no, what we is don't it? know how money works. We just don't know how money works. It's a very simple thing. It's not how much you make, it's how much you retain, how much you save and where you put it. And that's the key. Yeah. Don't be ashamed because you don't have financial intelligence. We weren't taught that. Plus, I was tired of reading my girl, my little baby girl, uh, seven years old, a yeah. book about how a prince is going to someday save her right. if she drops a glass slipper or if she, I don't know, throw his, her wig out of a tower. <laughs> so I said, no, I'm going to teach her how to build her own glass slipper factory so she hires the prince at starting a minimum wage, but she'll move him up. By the way, congratulations on your daughter. She just graduated, right? Yeah, my second daughter just graduated Parsons with her uh, master's in architectural Aww, design. That is that the baby girl? That's the little baby, yes, absolutely. Aww. My second one hides from social media. That's so yeah. funny. Um, so, Damon, um, the book is out now. Yeah, it is. Little Damon Learns to Earn. And and what age group would you say this is It's for, for kids 5 to 10 years old, but it's for parents to read to their children. The best thing about that is when we read Catch on the Rye, I threw it away. I didn't know why I read it. But a little child <laughs> wants to read this book every single month at home, and then they start to process what to do with money when it comes in, unlike us jaded adults. I right know. now, I may when I go, huh, I got a lot of temptation. Mm. A little kid starts to process the way through this book on what to do with it. Mm. Before you go, I got to yeah. ask you, I, I was Googling you last yeah. night. Um, you invest in a lot of companies. I do. Uh -huh. uh, Al Baker, former yeah. uh, football yeah. player, sure. uh, is making some claims out there of course. that, you know, doing business with you wasn't exactly what he thought that's it was right. going to be that's and right. that he was going to make a, a lot more money than yeah. he did. Uh, do you want to go on the record on this? Like, yeah, what? you know, I put it on my social media. You know, listen, on Shark Tank, I've invested over 100 companies. You're going to have some people that doesn't work out quite well. They may not understand business. I've, I've done a post on my social media. I don't like to really comment about the ones who it may not have worked out. You know why? Because if the business doesn't work out, their name will be a top hit on Google because of my comments about them, and it could hurt them down the way of the rest of their lives. Uh, wasn't a great situation. He's the only one who pull money out of the situation but it's okay it ha it happens and you're gonna deal with some disgruntled people or people who may be getting bad advice but hey, it is what it is and I put it on social media it's not a problem all the Shark Tank ones are not great hits all the time but I'd rather keep investing in and educating those people on how 
they can become their own success stories. Is this a good time to do your own business? I mean, uh, yeah. you know, I know you, you got to take a risk, but the, the way with interest rates and the it's way the economy is... It's never a bad time is, to start your own business. This is the best time ever. Technology, you can open a phone, hit the rest of the world in one second, literally. You can work virtually and put three hours on your dream. You know, your day mm. job won't make you rich. It'll be your homework and your dream. And put the rest on the other thing. You don't have to invest the money, though. Just put an education. Put Say, I'm going to educate myself three hours a week on this new dream. And when the things do get better, guess what? You're fully educated on how to do it. Always try to start your new business. Damon John, always positive, encouraging. The book, congratulations. Thank you so much. Little Damon Learns to Earn. You can get it anywhere, go on Amazon right now and get and it. And you know what? I think I, I need to read it. I think I need to go back to basics, Damon. <laughs> Same anyway. here. Uh, nice to always have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much.